Good morning! It is no morning because I usually upload this around noon time, but hi! So I'm quite sleepy, you can see I haven't brushed my hair yet, but before we start with the video today, I really wanted to show you this! Look at this! This is like a hoodie blanket. It is massive and it looks makes me look massive, but it's so comfortable and I can actually be very cute. Look at me! So I really love this, I can basically hide it, um, bought it yesterday, well it arrived yesterday and it is so cute and I just love it, I can be warm in it and hug it and cuddle in it, so super cute, but yes, let's proceed with the video. You see I have a paper bag and scissors, so I've watched recently a lot of videos about how to make paper. And I have this paper bag from Primark and I figured I could throw it away or I could recycle it into something that I can use. So I'm going to try to make paper that I can paint on or draw on or use to write and it's going to be cute out of this paper bag. So let's see if I succeed. Um, I haven't done this ever before but I know the steps so might as well try. So first I am going to cut this into pieces, small pieces, and then we can try to soak it into water. So. So I let the paper soak in water and this type of paper, it's very soft. So even though it hasn't been that long, I think it is good to be put in the blender. Now I'm going to use a new bowl, put some water in it and then mix some of the pork. Now I am going to take some spoons of the pulp we just made and mix it with the water. Doesn't look that amazing, it's quite a bad color but we're gonna have paper out of it. I think this should be enough. So we have this now, but what I am using is basically a sieve. So I'm going to put that there and add the mixture so that it can get rid of the excess water. It's forming a circle mm -hmm. 
Now I am going to try to take the excess water with a towel. You can use paper towel. Um, I was planning to, but I didn't have any. There's still a lot of water in this one. Well, you see that when I remove the towel, the shape stays put. So that is good, that's what we want. We want the shape to stay and we want the water to go. Now, this is how it looks like. And what I'm going to do now is do this. And that is our sheet of paper. We've removed the water in excess from here too until there's no more water coming out and there it is we have to leave this to dry for a few hours possibly overnight and then tomorrow we can have a look at our creations now i'm going to make I am also going to make one more and try to use food coloring. So that is fresh water. Here is our pulp. That looks absolutely disgusting. And and try to add a bit of food coloring. Yep, definitely blue. Probably have to wash this very well. Yep, I think I would suggest if you do use food coloring, try to use paper towel. It's probably going to turn out a bit better than having blue hands. morning as the morning after as you can see i'm still wearing the same cute thing because it's so comfortable especially when you get out of bed and it's really really cold so i just wanted to show you so i let my paper dry overnight and here it is it is really cute um it curled up a bit so what i recommend is just put it under a book or something uh to flatten 
Uh, I did that, but I think it's not enough, so I'll probably just do it again today. But you can see it's thin and it's cute. Um, you can probably not, you prob I'm not sure if you can paint on this, probably not because it reacts so quickly with water. But um, you can definitely write on this, draw something, and it's just cute to look at. So here is my paper, and this is the blue one. Here is a stain of color from the food coloring but it's really cute and I really like them so here's my paper and here is a successful DIY with Alex so please subscribe like uh, like my video um, and just subscribe for more uh, of me doing things uh, our couple videos as well as just reaction videos and fun stuff that you can be entertained by so thank you so much for being here with me during this making paper diy and hope you have a great day and see you again bye bye